This is Jennifer Timko with Stampin' on the Fly. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about how I made this light up card as part of a collaboration between Newton's Nook Designs and Chibitronics. I started by coloring all of my elements from this Knight's Quest stamp set from Newton's Look and I'm showing you all the different Copic markers that I use to color them just to save some time here in the video because I think the most important part of this video is how the actual circuits work. So I love this adorable dragon. He was the one that was my favorite the minute I saw this set and I do love too that it is um, a set that's great for boys. So I colored the fire, I colored the castle, my knight, and my dragon. I colored two of the fires because I wasn't sure which ones I was going to use or how many. And then I also stamped this sentiment from the set, Always Be Brave, and I stamped that in Knight of Navy ink from Stampin' Up. The paper is the new Tranquil Tide, it's a new in color from Stampin' Up, and the Knight of Navy and Smoky Slate. So once I had the elements colored, I went ahead and glued the knight and the dragon onto the hills that were cut using the land borders die from Newton's Nook. And now I'm just marking where my lighted elements are going to be. So I'm using a pencil and you can tell that I'm kind of hesitant on this, trying to make sure I don't make any mistakes and mark where I don't want to. But I'm going to put lights behind the two windows of the castle and behind the fire of my little dragon. So that's what I'm marking with the pencil here. Once I have that set, I'm going to go cut it out with a little craft knife. I'm just cutting a few little tiny holes so that they won't show once all my elements are in place and you can see those there. And I realized too that I need to also cut out the square that is where my battery is going to be um, under the smoky slate layer. So I'm going to mark off a little rectangle or a little square and cut that out also with my craft knife. And um, you'll see that here in just a second. And what's going to happen is I'm going to be layering up around the battery so that instead of it being lit all the time, it'll be able to act like a little switch. So I just have some plain old printer paper that I cut. In this case, for me, it was one inch by two inches and then folded in half. And that became my little housing, such as it is, for my battery. So you want the copper tape to be able to go to all the places you want the light, but not have the tape touch. And also the point of the triangle is the negative side. So you have your negative side and your positive side and just make sure you really burnish the tape down so that you have great connections. And they have all kinds of great tutorials on the Chibitronics website on how to build your circuits. So that's just how I created mine. And you notice I keep checking my circuit because I just don't want to have the card all built and then find out that it didn't work. So I think I'm a little bit obsessive about checking it at that and it's really, really, really cool. So once I make sure that that works, I'm going to go ahead and glue down my layer onto the card behind it using the Stampin' Up! Tear and Tape because I love that tape for this. It's easy to uh, position and make sure that everything's really secure. So now I'm going to start building up foam tape and I use three layers of this basic 3M foam tape to get up high enough. Again, my whole goal is to make sure that this acts like a switch and doesn't stay lit all the time. So this is two layers of foam tape and you can see I have just a little bit of bend. Um, that way you actually have to push on that copper to get it to light up and then it attaches over on that little side piece on the foam tape. And then I'm adding my third layer of foam tape on top of it. And you'll see at first I have it flipped around the wrong way, but I figure it out before it goes down, which is good. And then that is set for my switch. And then I'm gonna go through the exercise of building up all the layers of support around this. Again, three layers of the foam tape all around my little, battery housing plus on the elements of that top panel behind my dragon and behind my knight and it's all three layers of foam tape everywhere. So once I get that done 
take the leap of faith and actually glue it down while I'm on camera, which um, sometimes it's hard to get in position to make sure it's straight. So it took me a second to commit here. And then I'm just going to put everything down in position and attach it. And of course, you'll see that I'm going to check the circuit again. And I have it all set up so that when you push the sentiment, that is what is going to light up our lights. So when I write a note inside the card, all I have to do is say something along the lines of push on the words for a happy surprise. And that hopefully will be something that they can understand. All I did was do it two layers of foam tape underneath my little fire. And I did that only because it's hard to put the foam tape there and not get it wobbly. And still I wanted to be able to see uh, the lights from underneath that element. So here I am checking it one more time. Everything works when I push the switch. I hope you enjoy this card. It's super fun to make and I appreciate you stopping in today. Hope to see you again soon.